everyone, I'm Sujin. Welcome to my channel. So I got myself my very first Lady Dior in Paris at the CDG Airport Terminal L. I can't tell you how long this bag has been on my want list. I've been wanting it for a couple years. I've researched a lot of the pros and the cons to the design of the Lady Dior. I have also checked out the handbag at my local boutique as well. But due to some reason, I never purchased it. In Paris, I have been looking to purchase my very first Dior bag, specifically the Lady Dior. I have the Paris shopping and CDG airport shopping vlog so please check it out. I will link it in the description box below. At the flagship 30 Montaigne Boutique, so many Lady Dior's were available. So I was set with getting an alligator leather. I found out what I wanted in my very first Lady Dior. It was between the size mini and the small but I prefer for the small size rather than the mini. The size between the two uh, is not much different, but since I was looking for an alligator leather, the pattern with the size contrast looked so much better in the small rather than the mini. The small scales on both edges is a bit thicker in the small compared to the mini. I do like the metal shoulder chain in the mini, but I think I will use it more as a handheld rather than with a shoulder strap. Mini is super cute, but I just like the look of the small size. I'm thinking if I am only adding one Lady Dior to my collection, I like more of a functional bag. Small, but not too small for storage. I do like a bit of presence in my bags. Probably the reason why I still love my Chanel Jumbo Classic Flag handbags. When I visited the Dior Boutique on Rue Saint Honoré, before checking out of my hotel, the essay showed me a Lady Dior in mini size Himalaya with Swarovski Crystal Dior Charm. The matte Nilotikus Crocodile colorway, it was absolutely stunning. It was priced at 32,000 euros with the VAT refund at 12%, totaling to 28,160 euros. I was really tempted in purchasing, but I don't know. I just walked away from it. One, the Swarovski rhinestones on the Dior charm is very stunning, but I just didn't like how the metal was rubbing against the nylon croc leather. And two, the mini size leather only showed the belly square patterns and there were no smaller scales on the edge, making it an already structured bag very boxy. So enough of the talking, let's unbox. I'm so excited to share what I got. So it came in this box. So let's go ahead and open the box. So it comes with the CITES, the Certificate of Authenticity, and my receipt. Ta-da! Look at this beauty. You have the nylon croc pattern with just enough of the smaller scales on the side. In silver hardware with the Swarovski crystals and the matching leather Dior charm. 
And if we look inside, we have the strap in the matching leather. And the inside is fully lined in leather. There is a zip pocket and a open slit pocket. The strap is adjustable, but I like my strap at the shortest setting. So I will go ahead and keep it at this setting. So this is my Lady Dior in the small size, Neloticus Himalaya with the leather charm. This is just what I wanted. I mean, I took my chances in not purchasing at the two Dior boutiques. And I was about to walk out of the Dior store at the airport since I saw no exotics on display. Luckily, the essay asked if I was looking for something particular and I replied with an exotic and stepped back into the boutique. But she showed me the lizard and the snake. The green lizard was very pretty, but it didn't make my heart flutter. So I told the SA I'm looking for a small size matte alligator without any gold splash or any shimmers. I also mentioned a Himalaya and she said that there is a wait list for Himalaya bags. So I told her that I was shown a mini Lady Dior Himalaya in the morning, but passed since I was looking for a size small. And I show her the photos that were taken in the morning. The essay said there is a Himalaya bag, but at a different terminal. So I told the essay that I'm limited in time due to my flight. So I wouldn't be able to go to a different terminal for a bag. So she had one of her colleagues bring the bag to us. And when I saw the bag, it was everything that I wanted. Just perfect. Size small, adequate amount of the smaller scales on the edges, no crystals on the Dior charm, and it is also non-metal. It is a matching Himalaya leather charm. This is very unique and a very special Lady Dior bag. A Himalaya Nilo Croc. This is my very first Dior bag. The essay was telling me I was her first person buying an exotic. So it was first for both of us. The essay also gifted me this. It's a very large packaging and it includes a booklet and a blank notepad. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. I hope to see you back here and thanks for watching. Bye.